how to make and set any song as a ringtone for iPhone. So if you're wondering how to set your favorite song as a ringtone on iPhone without the need for a computer or iTunes, then this video shows a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make and set any song as a ringtone for an iPhone using a garage band. Let's get started. Alright, as you can see, this is my iPhone 12 mini. I'm going to use this iPhone and show you guys how to make and set any song as a ringtone without the need for a computer. Now, first things first, make sure you're running the latest version of iOS on your iPhone. And as you can see, my iPhone is running the latest iOS 15.1.1. The next up, go ahead and open the App Store and search for an application called GarageBand. Now, using a GarageBand, you can make and set any song as a ringtone on your iPhone. It's around a two gigs in size. Now, once it's done, go ahead and open the Safari browser. Now from here, you can download any song from the internet, which is allowed for personal use. You can simply type in the search bar with an MP3 keyword followed by the name of the song. Now for now, I'm going to show you a demo of downloading a song on your iPhone. Now for this, I'm going to use an NCS website that lets you download a free music. Now here, I'm going to look for my favorite song and download it. Now as soon as you click on a download, the Safari browser will show you a prompt to download or stream online. Just gonna go ahead and choose a download and the song will be downloaded and stored into a files application. Now once it's done downloading, you can find the song where it is downloaded and saved by pressing the search icon. Now as you can see, this took me to the files application where you can see all of the downloaded music from the Safari browser. Now it's time to make a ringtone with the song using a garage band. Just gonna go ahead and open a GarageBand. Now by default, the app interface may look like this and you have to click on the plus button to enter into a tracks mode. Now from the selection menu, make sure the tracks option has been selected and look for the audio recorder. And tap on it to start creating your ringtone on iPhone. Now tap on OK to dismiss this alert the next step, I tap on the grid icon on the top left to enter into a timeline mode. Now, as you can see, this is the timeline where we're going to import the song and trim the favorite part of the music and use it as a ringtone. Now, this is the editing space. Now, for right now, we can see the timeline length has been set to 8 seconds, which needs to be incremented based on the length of the song. Now, that way, the song can fit inside this timeline. But before doing that, let me go ahead and disable this warning. Then go ahead and tap on this plus button. Then select section A and change the bar value to the length of the song. Now for example, the song length which I have downloaded is around a 2 minute 48 seconds. So if we convert to the seconds, it will be around a 200 plus seconds. Just gonna go ahead and scrub through this element to increase or decrease the bars. Now for now, I'm going to set the 240 bars and click on done. Now you can see the timeline space has incremented. This way the song can fit inside and you can trim any part of the song and use it as a ringtone. Now it's time to import the downloaded song to the timeline. Now for that, tap on this loop symbol. Then it's going to take you to this page. Now here you can import this song from the Apple Music stored locally. Now keep in mind, if you are a Prime member of Apple Music, you cannot use any music because of DRM protection. But if you have copied a DVD ripped music from iTunes to iPhone, then you can see the songs over here. Anyway, I'm going to choose a Files option. Then click on Browse from Files application. Now by default, it's going to take you to the recent page. And as you can see, this is a song that I have downloaded. Just going to go ahead, tap on it and import. Then go ahead, hold on to the song and drag, then drop into the timeline space just like that.
Now you can see the song has perfectly set into the timeline. Here we can use a pinch in and out gestures to expand the song. Now it's time to trim my favorite part of the song. So let's say my favorite part starts at 25th second. First, I'm gonna use a play header and scrub through the song and place it to the 25th second. Then tap on the track and make sure it's selected and you can see a handlebar activated to the beginning and end of the song. Now using these handles, you can trim any part of the song. Now for now, let me go ahead and use the first point and drag it to the play header position. Now once it's done, then I'm gonna drag the ending point to the 50th second. Now keep in mind, the ringtone length should be less than 30 seconds. Now I'm gonna replace the trim part of the music to the first second. Just go ahead, select the track, then hold and drag just like that. Now you can see this is the favorite part of a song that I have successfully trimmed and it's ready to be used as a ringtone. Now let me go ahead and play the song. You can also see more options by tapping on the track. You can use a split, cut, delete and copy and do more. Now that being said, it's time to export this ringtone. Now go ahead, tap on the triangle icon from the top left and save this project. Now by default, it's going to save as with the name My Song. You can go ahead and rename this project if in case you want to. Now go ahead and hold this project. Then from the menu, choose to share. Then select a ringtone. Now there is an alert saying the ringtone length cannot be a more than a 30 second. Now if it's more than 30 seconds, it will adjust automatically. Now anyway, click on continue. Now you can name the ringtone whatever you want and then click on export. And that's it. Now the ringtone export has been successful. Now you can set the ringtone directly from here or from the settings application. Just gonna go ahead for now, click on OK and exit from the GarageBand. Now open the settings application, then choose sounds, then ringtones. Now here you can see the ringtone that we just have created. Now just gonna go ahead, tap on it and set it as your ringtone on iPhone. Now, this is how you can make your ringtone from any song using a GarageBand on your iPhone without the need for iTunes or a computer. And that's pretty much it. So if in case you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down there. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and consider hitting the bell icon to see a versatile tech content. So thanks for watching this video. So this has been KSK Ryle, signing off.